Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I'm here today with an Eiffel Store Design Team haul. So I'll go straight in and show you those dies. I've tried to kind of like put them in order because I want to make these ones for samples tomorrow. So the first one is a kind of steampunk traction engine. And of course I can measure these when they're made up. The next one is absolutely gorgeous. It's a, a split screen travel camper with surfboards. So this one's quite sort of 1950s. And then luggage, because we're all traveling. <laughs> we hope we are. <laughs> and we've got uh, suitcases, umbrella, and we've got a sun hat and all kinds of little bits in there. And I think that's the bow that goes on the hat. And then next up, we have the Vespa bike, which is seriously cute. I might do that one in pink. And then we have the hanging clocks. So that's um, sort of like female male sort of collection, but I'm going to try and do those tomorrow. So I'm just going to shift those off to one side. And then for Monday, I'm going to do these. These are without doubt the best, the best robot dies I have ever seen. And the size of them, I mean, I don't know how big these are going to make up, but just that piece on its own looks about two and a half, three inches. So different characters and uh, I'm going to have to have a look at the website to see exactly how they are. And there are four of them. There's the more traditional standing up robot and here's a round one that looks like he's on some kind of tank track. All of those wheels. I just love robots. I mean, I've got the original robot set that they put out on AliExpress about three years ago. And uh, I thought that was awesome. And I still do think it's awesome. But these are the best robot dies I have ever seen. So I love those. And I'm going to make those on Monday. You'll have to excuse my throat if I start squeaking. And the store has been very organized and I'm going to disorganize everything. <laughs> and we have a gnome. We have another gnome, another gnome, another gnome. And of course, I'll do these in themes kind of like over the next month. And we have another gnome, another gnome and another gnome. So there we have lots of gnomes. Then take the elastic band off this one. I think this is all food. Yeah, these are all cakes, which are great for birthday cards. And these are all a fabulous size. You can see as I'm putting my hand there. So they're going to be nice and easy to paper piece. I mean, that one is so pretty. I think that's pancakes. I may be wrong, but it looks like layers of pancakes with... Um, cream or something and that might be a raspberry I don't know I have to put it together and find out I think these just stack up and then there is a chocolate log which I think is sort of like traditionally Christmas it's got all the stars and stuff I may be totally wrong somebody can tell me and then there's another one here that's all piped cream and cherries there's one on a little cake dish. And I think that's an ice cream dessert that fits in here. And you've got all your cream and stuff that dribbles down the side of the, the ice cream cup. And then a cake with, I think that's vanilla. Yeah. And vanilla flowers. So really, really pretty. Great for birthdays. So you've seen my robots my stuff that i'm doing tomorrow my gnomes and my cake collection and now we have a mouth collection this is quite unusual but i guess could be used on lip balm boxes or little notelets to friends you know like 
really miss you, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so you could have sort of like cartoony bubbles and things coming out. And of course, these would be great on paper clips. So you've got all the little teeth in there. And once again, it's all stuff that I've got to make so that you can see it. And then I think I've already disturbed this collection. We have a little elephant that looks like he's working out. I hope you can see these bright sunshine coming through and a little turtle and I do love turtles we've got a little monkey hanging from a branch with a leaf I think that's a teddy bear in a safari outfit or a little suit or something I can see an umbrella there Ooh. And I think I have a cat in a box. Yes, I think this is a kitty cat unicorn that goes inside a box. So that's going to be really cute to do. And another little kitty cat unicorn that looks like he's just lounging around. And another kitty cat unicorn with a ball of wool. So that's another collection. Right, what else have I got? I've got, I really love this, that's a spaceman in a teacup. I think that's really cool, great for Father's Day. There's a spaceman on his planet riding a bicycle. You show me one spaceman that doesn't ride a bicycle on a planet. And here's one who sits on top of his rocket. And another one I think that's just whizzing around in space. So that's the space collection that I was sent. And open up another bundle. And we have a koala bear in sunglasses. And I've got my fingers there because you can see they're nice manageable pieces to cut and pick up. And this is a great one. You've got the Eiffel Tower and the word love. So, you know, sort of weddings, Valentine's Day. And this is really pretty. That's a heart-shaped dream catcher. So looking forward to making that one. And got some more arrows and stuff that I can use alongside of that. And then we have sweet little kitty and her ball. That's really, really cute. And I have a little girl that sits on top of the moon, I think. And these are really sweet, tiny little labels. And you kind of like got themes that you can put with them, like some holly and berries. You've got little bows and Christmas ornaments. So that's going to be nice for either printing off or stamping little sentiments. And then I have a tropical one, which is coconuts and leaves and things. And then another tropical one, which is a deck chair, and you've got water. So I'll probably end up using those two together, popping that inside of a frame and putting those around the frame. So those are really nice. And then we get to another one of my loves. If it's not robots, it's dinosaurs. And once again, really cute nice layering dies well made that one comes with a little crown here's another cute little one with all of his greenery and his little cactus another one with all the pieces so that you can put all of the spines back onto it and then here's another cute one who has a volcano so that's the dinosaurs and another bundle i'm opening here which is oh that's really cool look you've got a little layering sandcastle and that's all water and tropical leaves again another um deck chair i don't know if that's the same one that he sent me no it's a different one so that's a, a different style of deck chair and more tropical leaves got this gorgeous little girl I might have to do her on Monday as well she's got a little flower hat 
I think that's really pretty. And then we have a teddy bear who's eating his watermelon in his sports hat. And we have an owl eating watermelon. And they've got a little dicky bow. So that's another one. And then we have a little girl. I think this is really cute. She's in a pool float, which is a flamingo. And I'm not quite sure what this one is. It might be a little girl who's falling through a donut. So I'm going to have to make that one to, uh, to find out. I do apologize for the sun glare. And then last but not least, I was sent a set of flowers. Now, if you look at these, get the sun out of the way. It cuts the fine line outer edges so that you can paper piece these or just use the outline. And I was sent quite a few of these, so that's going to be nice for building up a good full card. And I quite like that one. Just the three little buds, the tulips, more flowers, and they're all all the same giving you that piped kind of outline to the leaves the stems and the flowers so that is what I have for you today and I just showed you I'm going to be back up with um, sort of like transporty and travel type projects tomorrow so you have a wonderful day as usual all links below bye